Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pua, the Chemistry Guru. Now, in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 1. So let's take a look at this exercise. In two separate experiments, a beam of protons and a beam of electrons traveling at the same velocity pass through an electric field as shown. So which statements are correct? So statement number one, the electrons are deflected to a larger extent than the protons. Statement number two, the electron beam is deflected in the opposite direction to the proton beam. Statement number three, the proton beam travels in a straight path towards the negatively charged plate. So we have four options A, B, C, D. We will want to decide which of these statements are correct. Then we can decide which is my best option. Now, the topic tested in this question is fairly straightforward. Of course, this is under atomic structure. The deflection of our charged particle through an electric field. So let us run through the statements part by part, and we will be able to recap most of the ideas involving this topic under atomic structure. So statement number one, the electrons are deflected to a larger extent than the proton. So what we should know is the extent of the deflection or the angle of deflection is directly proportional to charge to mass ratio. We can actually do calculation involving this and let us consider our subatomic particles. In this case, we have electron and proton. So charge for electron, obviously, it is a minus one charge. Charge of a proton, obviously, it is a plus one charge. Now the mass of a proton is given a relative mass number of one and we do know that the mass of the electron is significantly smaller as compared to the mass of a proton and the mass of a neutron. So the value is about 1 over 1,800 plus in terms of the mass of the electron. We actually don't need to know this value very accurately. So in this case, we just take this to be about 1 over 1,800. A rough idea would do. We just know that electron in terms of mass is significantly smaller as compared to proton, agree? So if I consider charge to mass ratio, it's just simply the magnitude of the charge, one divided by one over 1,800. So the charge to mass ratio for your electron is about 1,800, and the charge to mass ratio for your proton will be one divided by one. This is equal to one. So this means that the charge to mass ratio for your electron is about 1,800 times more than the charge to mass ratio for proton, so this would mean that the electrons will be deflected to a larger extent than proton. So statement number one is correct. Now next, how about statement number two? Now statement number two, the electron beam is deflected in the opposite direction to the proton beam. This is again fairly straightforward because electron and proton, the charges are different. Of course, they will be deflected towards different poles. So electron, since it is negatively charged, it should be deflected towards the positive hole or the positive electrode, while your proton, since it is positively charged, it should be deflected towards the negative pole or the negative electrode. So statement number two is correct. Statement number one and statement number two is pretty straightforward. And finally, let's consider statement number three. Now statement number three is a little bit more interesting. It talks about the proton beam traveling in a straight path towards the negatively charged plate. Now, Traveling towards the negatively charged plate is correct. Because proton is positively charged, it should be deflected towards the negative end. Agree? But how would the proton beam travel? Would it, when it passes through the electric field, straight away, you just be deflected. And after that, you just travel via a straight path, like what we have in the first diagram. Or should it travel in a curve? trajectory. So what is the difference between these two diagrams? Now the difference is whether as the proton gets deflected, will it experience a constant attraction with respect to the negative pole, or will it experience a stronger or increasing attraction with the negative pole? So if we consider the difference between these two diagrams, if it travels in a straight path, this will suggest that the attraction with the negative pole is a constant. 
So therefore, the deflection is a constant deflection. It just deflects one time, and then after that, it just travels through a straight path. All right? Now, the second diagram, it says that when you are deflected, since you are positively charged, and when you travel uh, through this electric field, it will be deflected towards the negative pole. But once you are deflected towards the negative pole, you realize that the distance with the electrode becomes closer. So the attraction with the negative pole becomes increasing. All right? There's a stronger attraction between the proton and the negative pole. So it means that you'll be deflected more. The angle of deflection will actually start to increase. And when you get deflected more, the proton becomes even closer to the negative pole and therefore the attraction becomes even stronger and you'll be deflected towards a bigger extent. So if you think about this, when I consider the second diagram, when there's an increasing attraction, when you get progressively closer to the negative pole, and so therefore the deflection will just keep on increasing and increasing. So this curve trajectory seems a little bit more reasonable. So the straight path is not likely to be the case because as you move closer and closer towards the negative pole, you should experience a stronger attraction. That means the attraction involving my proton when it is further away from the negative pole versus when it is closer towards the negative pole, there should be a difference in the attraction. So the first diagram traveling through a straight path doesn't seem appropriate. Using this second path where it is a curved path seems a lot more reasonable. So in this case, statement number three is incorrect. Now we have run through the options, so therefore we can look at the options again. Which of the statements are correct? We know that statement number one is true. The electrons are deflected to a bigger extent because it has a bigger charge to mass ratio. Statement number two is correct because the electron beam is deflected in the opposite direction of the proton beam because they are oppositely charged. Statement number three is not true. The proton beam should travel in a curved path rather than a straight path. So number one and number two is true. So if I run through the options A, B, C, D, option B will be my best answer. All right, so that was the discussion involving paper one, question one. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.